Hey, it's Brennan from acetennisonline.com where I help you level up your game. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you three tips that are gonna make your volleys much better. Now let's take a look at three things that I want you to copy from Roger Federer here. And there's three really simple tips that you can easily copy at the recreation level, whether you're a 3-0 a or a 4-0. But these tips are going to be really, really helpful for you if you are struggling with the volleys. Now, tip number one is as you're taking the racket back, do not take it back too far. Take a look at Roger, and, I, and this is a great angle to see it from. Even though we're seeing his back, you can see he does not take the racket back super far. So he takes about the racket back about as far as his head or the, as far as the back of his head. He doesn't go super far behind him. He doesn't take the racket back way back there. He keeps the racket take back very simple and compact. Now, why is that important? Because you're a lot closer to your opponent's baseline, which means two things. Number one. You have less time to react. So but if you take the racket back all the way back here, chances are you're going to be late and you're going to be rushed because now you have to get that racket back quickly to keep your contact point out in front. So you have less time to react. So meaning a shorter take back is going to be super helpful. Reason number two, a longer take back often leads you to add more swing and more power into the shot. And since you are closer to your opponent's baseline, you don't need all that extra power. So tip number one, take Take the racket back about as far as your head. What I like to say is ear up the racket next to your ear. So if you imagine that your racket has two ears right here. Here, oops, let's do that again. One ear there, one ear there. So you're taking the ear of your racket next to your ear. Really simple way to remember that. Now, tip number two is this. Keep your contact point out in front. I see a lot of players who have their contact point more next to them but that compromises the stability of the wrist. Now you can see the wrist a little bit more towards the follow through, but if we zoom in, what you will notice is that his wrist is almost in a 90 degree angle. And that really can only happen if your contact point is out in front. If your contact point is more next to you, your hand, your wrist is gonna be very straight as if you're shaking hands. So if you're shaking hands, your wrist is gonna be aligned with your arm. So really there's no, no angle at all. So meaning when you, make contact out in front, you're going to be able to get in that 90 degree angle and that's going to give you more stability as you volley. Because if your wrist is already bent back, there really isn't a whole lot of give. So your your wrist can't move back much further, which means you give yourself an excellent amount of stability as you volley. So contact point out in front and let's get into tip number three. And that is take a look at that father. So see how he's just guiding it towards his target. His follow through, if you can even call it that, uh, is really guiding the ball forward. He's not He's not doing anything fancy. He just makes sure his racket is moving towards his target, through the ball, and then even longer. So really making that, look, so let's take a look again. So as he's starting, he's going from back to front. He's not He's not going around his body in different directions. He's keeping it really simple, and he's, he's getting that racket to move right through the ball, guiding it towards his target. So if you want to improve your volleys, Make sure to keep the keep the take back to a minimum. Keep your contact point out in front where your wrist is bent back to give you more stability and make that follow through a little bit longer and really guide it towards your target. Now, if you follow those three simple tips, you're going to improve your volleys. You're going to hit a much more consistent volley and a much more controlled volley next time you are on the court. Now, if you want to level up your game even further, you know what to do. Make sure to smash that like and subscribe button like I don't know, John Isner smashed those serves. Now, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next coaching video.